What's up, y'all? I just want to give y'all a quick little breakdown of this video before it starts. So, we ran a little bit late because I lost a hub on my boat trailer. Uh, we were blessed enough to get that changed out pretty quick and get on the water about 8 o'clock in the morning. So, we got there. It's late April. Water temperature is 63 degrees. Uh, there's a little bit of cloud covering, a little bit of wind, and we're thinking, oh, man, we are fixing to burn them up up shallow. You know, we thought we were fixing to have this shallow water beat down. Well, that was not to be at all. We fished the backs of some creeks and things like that, and there was like zero activity back there. Nothing on beds, not seeing any shad flicking around, no brim, nothing. So we moved out to some deeper water, immediately started catching fish, then uh, started hitting like some secondary points, started catching them pretty good. And uh, most of the fish that we caught, as you'll see in the video, had bloody tails. So that told us, you know, that most of the fish, that huge wave of fish, had already come up and spawned and were making their way back out. We did catch a few fish in shallow water in the afternoon. I think some that might be spawners. Pickwick's notorious for fish spawning where you can't see them in that five to six foot of water. I think because of the pressure mostly, but you know, I don't really want to target spawning fish like that. It's too slow for me. I'd rather fish, you know, somewhere where fish are coming to you. And it was obviously, it was obvious that the biggest part of the spawn had already happened and that most of the fish were making their way back out, hitting those secondary and primary points. And, um, you know, it's just always a good time when you can put the pieces of the puzzle together as the day goes on. You go there thinking that one thing's going to happen and something totally different happens. And that's why you always have to keep an open mind fishing. I think that's what keeps us all so addicted to it is no two days are the same. Fish are very unpredictable. But when you can figure them out, man, it makes it a whole lot of fun. Of course, I didn't get my biggest fish on camera. Caught one that was almost four pounds on a crankbait on a secondary point. But... I did get quite a few good fish on camera. We caught quite a few fish and just had a good time. But uh, like I said, my favorite part about it was just, you know, unlocking the puzzle as the day went on. But I hope y'all enjoy watching it. I appreciate y'all watching. God bless y'all. And this is how this day has started. Well, we're back in business. Got the new hub on there. Wayne said, I want to know why you got a spare hub in your truck. I said, I've had it happen before on my bass boat. Well, that cost us about an hour worth of fishing time, but thank God we were uh, right here by his house and uh, able to get a few tools, a few handy tools, and get it knocked out real quick. So we're about to go get back out on the road. Hopefully that won't happen on the other side. Ooh, now that I have swamp butt... My feet are soaking wet and all that, changing that hub. That's one thing to get wet when you're fishing. It's something different to get wet while you're working on your boat trailer. But anyway, uh, I just want to take a moment and tell y'all it's so easy to get frustrated in times like that. But like my wife always tells me, there's a reason that that happened. God watches out for us more than we know. So, uh, man, when something like that happens, don't get mad about it. No, God was probably saving us from a wreck or something bad happening. So, like I said, we're just thankful that it happened right here by Wayne's house. So, I mean, it's not that big a deal. It only cost us about an hour of fishing time. If that's all we lose today, we got a lot to be thankful for. But, uh, see y'all at the lake. There he is. Small mouth. I was waiting on that. I figured a brown fish would bite in here. Oh, it's like a fighting too. I figured it. Caught a bunch of brown fish in here. He ain't big, but he's a start. I'll take him. Yeah, he's fat as all get out. It is a start on the jerk bait. Fat. Yep. Figured that. Figured them smallmouth will like that color too. He smoked it when he hit it. Yeah, there's another one. That's a big one right there. 
I said he would. He ain't bad. Got him hooked funny. Oh. Dang it. Had him hooked on the side of his gill. He's almost a keeper, I think. Uh, 15 inches. There you go. Good one. Good one. There you go, Wayne. Good fish. Dang, I put my dirt back down too soon, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you fixed the jump one more time. Nah, she done. Pretty fish. That a girl. That's a keeper, then. Yeah. Good guy. That was a fish. Two and a half, two and three quarter pounds. Fight hard though. Yeah. She might be spawned out and tired. You got one? Oh, oh my, oh. You got that, you a big old. A yeah, it's a fish. Holy shit. I, I thought, thought she... I was on bottom. That was a good one. You can keep him on. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Right there on that windy point, wasn't it? Right where you're supposed to be. He hit it just as soon as I went down with it. Good. Oh, he jumped off. You suck. Ain't got enough rod for that fish. That was like a four pounder, too. You suck. Like that. No, oh, look at Kevin go. No, look at Kevin go. Right. Right, last place you could catch him. Please. I know it. I was in the last piece of water. Hey. I'm glad you caught a fish. Me too. You now. Yeah, I guess. Look, spawning. Bloody tail. Yep. What size is that? Probably two. That's good enough to keep him. Bloody tail. Is that a female? I don't think so. Yeah, nice. Too much line. Fat. Spawned out, bloody tail. Fatty. That dirt full. Yep, about to pop. Them eggs coming out. She needs to move on up to the bank and spawn. You can see how white that fish is, though. She's fresh out of the river. She's just now coming back here. Golly. That sucker knocked the crap out of it. He didn't stay with it though. Yeah. Every one I've caught been pretty far out. But if I ever get out of the rocks, they won't bite. They gotta be in the rocks, but way out off the bank. I just had that one. He, he knocked the snot out of it, but didn't stay on it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> there you go. Come back got it, he either come back and got her, he was on it the whole time and just swimming back to me. I don't know. No, he didn't swallow it. He must have just got back on it. A little short fish. Is that a male? Yeah, male. He done been on the bed too. His tail is about a quarter of the way gone on the bottom. No, he's got me hooked funny. <laughs> huh? But he had he was hooked funny at first. I thought I'd done hooked about a five or six pounder. Pretty 
pretty fish, yeah. Sure is. That's a good eating that. Old black lipstick. I don't know about a black the spot there. there. Jump black spot jump there. Jump pretty fish. That fish is perfect. It ain't got a scratch on it. not that great but hey i get paid i'm not working oh man did you see that fish gosh dang i had a good one right there good one chased it in gosh dang oh, i almost messed you up yeah yeah there you go there you go buddy that's the way you're gonna toss him out of it you know that tree was there no not till today Good fish, buddy too. He's he's spawning. He's pretty. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's kind of like he's. Yeah. Good fish. Yeah. Good fish. Yeah. Good fish. Yeah. Old brown fish. Ooh, it back got me too. I told you. Brownie. You got a big one? Keep your rod down. Huh? Sounded like a big one that jumped. I ain't even keep her either. I thought you had like a three or four pounder the way it sounded. Woo! At least you finally caught another one. I landed one anyway. There's a one. Right there on the point. Hey, there's another one. Yep. Right where he was supposed to be. Ain't a bad one. See how far they're all off the bank? Yeah, they, they ain't on the bank no more. I'll tell you that. Pretty. Mine right there that top. Huh? Mine only holds 10. Yeah. 10 will get you a long way in a little boat, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. Old brownie. Yeah. You know what I've been a smallmouth machine today. Two of them. No, I done caught like four of them. No. Yeah. That's at least my third one. Skinny. Yeah, all right. I got it all on video. I've seen two. I've seen three. The first one I caught was a smallmouth. That's right. And then uh, I caught another one off that dock when we was talking to that guy. In the other boat. That was a smallie? Yep. And then, I think he wasn't very big. So. Yeah, I agree. I ain't, gonna, ain't none of them been big.